Okay, in this video I'm going to go over a couple of examples of how we can use what's called the discriminant to determine whether your parabola is going to cross the x-axis once, twice, or not at all. Okay? Now the discriminant, if you remember in this uh, previous video, is just this portion right here in the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula will solve for the actual numbers or the coordinates of where it crosses the x-axis. But this b squared minus 4ac, that will tell you um, whether you have once, twice, or not at all. Now, how does that work? Remember that if b squared minus 4ac, if you do a quick calculation, is greater than zero, then you're going to have two real roots. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then you're going to have one real root. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 or a negative number, you're going to have some kind of a parabola that will not cross the x-axis at all. Okay? So now let's look at our two examples. So here we have 3x squared minus 3x plus 5. Will this cross the x-axis once, twice, or not at all? Will I have real roots or uh, imaginary roots? So, Writing in standard form, I get my a as 3, b as negative 3, and c as 5. So let's put it into the formula, b squared minus 4ac. Now, the b happens to be negative 3, so put it in there. Minus 4 times a, which again is 3, and c, which is 5. Let's calculate. Negative 3 squared following PEMDAS gives me 9. Minus, and I can see right away this is going to be greater than 9, right? So 12 times 5 is 60. My answer is going to be a negative 51. This tells me that my this particular quadratic equation will not cross the x-axis at all. So I'm going to have two imaginary roots. Okay? Now let's go to this one over here x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Looks like my a is 1, my b is 4, my c is 4. Again, let's put it into our discriminant. b squared minus 4 times a times c. My b is 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. Looks like it's going to give me 0, doesn't it? Because that's 16 minus 16. My answer again is Zero. This tells me that my parabola is going to cross the x-axis only once. It's just going to touch it right where the vertex is. So the vertex will be my real root. One real root. Okay? I hope this was helpful for you.